Hey, howdy, hey guys, it's me here, your nerdy mama, today with my first official, wait for it, Target haul. Okay, so we're going to start with the most expensive thing, an empty box. <laughs> so I went to Target specifically to get a new um, case for my phone. I have an iPhone XX, XS Max. Whatever that is. I looked on my settings to figure it out. I didn't know. So, I got, I, I have always loved OtterBoxes. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Pop Sockets. I just got it basically because you'll see in just a second. So, I'm going to show you the back of my phone. It's lemons. Look at the lemons. Isn't that the prettiest little lemons? And look. It has a yellow Pop Socket. Now, I read on the box that this is removable, so if I ever find me a pop socket with an actual lemon on it, you know I'm going to change it. And it does hold it up like that if you want to watch something. So, I'm going to give you prices on almost everything. I'm not going to give you prices on this because this is depressing about how much this cost me. So, um, next, we're going to go to some, let's go to some planners. Heck, let's go for it. Okay. This is a Cam uh, Mead, it's Mead, right? Mead Cambridge, July 2020 through June 2021 20, planner. It has these beautiful white daisies on it. I, I think something's fixing to go wrong with my camera because Nerdy Papa has got his fingers crossed. Battery's about to die. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to hurry up and see if we can at least get through this, and then we'll put it in a different one. Okay, so you got these pretty daisies. you got a place to put your name, three-year reference, important dates, month on two pages. Oh, I love it. Horizontal, Monday through uh, Sunday, all the same size, lined. Nothing really, you know. Okay, Nerdy Mama's back with a new battery. Now, let's see how long this one lasts. So, we're, again, we were flipping through this. We got to the point where we saw that it was horizontal with uh, Monday through Sunday, all the same size. Again, this is just an inexpensive uh, planner from Target, and it has some note pages and some holidays. Not going to do a uh, big flip through because it's pretty simple. Now, this planner right here was... $10.99. Now, I know I spent like six on the ones at Walmart, but it has daisies on it, and it, it, it I'm addicted. I can't help it, okay? And then, ta-da-da-da, it's got lemons on it, and with a blue background. Now, this one is um, Dabney Lee for Blue Sky. I love Blue Sky planners. Um, I used them when I was uh, in school. This, again, is an academic year planner, July 2020 through June 2021. Uh, lemons just lemons and you can actually i love it because you can add scrap paper here as well this is humongous i love it i can write big it starts in may which means i can start using it soon um again huge places right even though saturday and sunday is smaller they're still huge so again there's no uh dividers it just goes right into the next month so we're just going to flip all the way to the back okay so you got june and then let's see if there's any extra pages in the back yes there is there are note pages beautiful note pages you've got your holidays which are laminated and a United States map with the capitals. Just like if you're sitting in the doctor's office and go, hmm, I wonder what the, you know, capital of Arizona is. And then you look on it, you go, woo woo, it's Phoenix. So there you go. So this one, get this, same price as this one. And look how much bigger it is. More room, $10.99. So got that. Then I bought some new pens. Now, look at these. These are Papermate pens. Now, I think we all know like the classic uh, Papermate pen. Um, it's, um, it's the stick pen. You can get them in blue and you can get them in black. And it's, you had your hand on it, Nerdy Papa. Not that one. It's the one right beside it, the all blue one. There we go. They look like this. 
Okay, now Paper Mate has rubbed off of this one. I've used it so much, but you can get this one. You can get it in black. You could get it in green. You could get it in red. You can get it in purple. Okay, but now they are making them to look like this. Thank you, Nerdy Papa. So we're going to open this up and we're gonna, I'm going to open it up right on screen. Now, you get 20 pens, 20 to zero, okay? And you want to know how much I paid for this? $2.69. That's it. Okay. So I got a little, uh, little notepad, you know, press that like button and comment down below if you know what haul this is from. And then look at it. It's a stumpy little thing. Look at that stumpy little thing. Let's see how this one writes. I can't write upside down. So, and this isn't like a smooth surface. And, but listen, 20 of these for uh, $2.69, you can't beat it with a stick. So there you go on the, um, the paper mint pens. Okay, I, I only saw black. So we're gonna have to wait to see if they come out with the other colors. Now I picked up these, these are by Bic. This is the Gelosity. Again, it's a whole pack of black pens, but you can never have enough black pens. You get 10. These are 0 0.5. Now, the paper mates that I just showed you, they were 1.0. So, these are significantly thinner. These right here, these big gel pens, the 10 of them were $4.49. Again, not a bad deal. I'm going to open them up on, well, technically I'm off camera right now, but on camera. And then... Here's what they look like. And I'm going to take my piece of paper and let's see. Oh, it's got that little ball of wax. I don't know why they do that. I mean, I know why they do it. It's just irritating. Okay. Now let's see how these write. Oh. Okay. The only thing is, I'm going to tell you now, it's a little squeaky. Now, you probably won't be able to hear it on camera, but I can hear it. And someone who presses really down on a piece of paper, they might have a little bit of issue with this. Now, it may go away once the ink, you know, as you're using it, and it, uh, it rolls a little bit better, but it is a little squeaky to begin with. But still, brand new pen. I had to have it. Uh, so, there's that. And then, I'm going to surprise you guys because... Now, when I do my Dollar Tree hauls, I tend to buy makeup here and there. But the rest of the stuff that I bought from Target is makeup related. The first thing I got was this e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge. Now, let me tell you why I got this. One, I love e.l.f. products because it's very friendly to the pocketbook. Um, a beauty blender, if you know what that is, costs $20. Now, I've never owned one. I've always wanted one. But I've never owned one because it's too expensive. But I watch a beauty guru on YouTube called Laura Lee. Comment down below if you watch Laura Lee as well. She recommended this sponge. She says that she likes it better than a beauty blender. So what you do with these makeup sponges is that you wet them and you wring them out and you use them to put on your uh, liquid or powder foundation. You can also put powder on and concealer with it. So I look forward to trying this. Okay. So I got that. I'm not going to put it back in the package. Then the next thing I got, I'm kind of going from, you know, the way you would put on the makeup is I got this poreless putty primer. Now, this is supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, which I'm going to tell you now I will never own because it's too expensive. But this is supposed to be the same thing. Now, for the longest time I looked for this and I couldn't find it. Now you can find it. Of course, you know, it is a primer that you put on and it's supposed to make you look like you have no pores. Now it's supposed to be good for oily skin as well as for um, normal skin. So I, and it really does just, it feels so smooth. So, and it does not have a smell at all, which is a good thing because any smell in a um, makeup product can give Nerdy Mama migraines. We don't need that. So the next thing that I got was this. Now, again, I watch beauty, too many beauty gurus on uh, YouTube. 
This one, I remember the first person that ever did it, it was Tati. And uh, Tati is Glam Life Guru, and I, she makes such good videos. I love them because um, they're family friendly. Unlike some other beauty gurus, I'm not gonna name any names, but they are not family friendly. Now, I thought this was a doe foot applicator, but to my surprise, it's a pump. And the great thing I like about a pump is, and I'm gonna put some right on here, is that it keeps you from getting the bacteria that when you when you use a, a doe foot applicator especially all over your face it gets bacteria in it so you can't you know you really only um, are supposed to use the um makeup for a certain amount of time and I, I think with a doe foot applicator especially with foundation now concealer i don't mind it uh wow that is really full coverage um that the bacteria gets in it. So I am so happy that it is a pump, okay? And this, I didn't even say what it was. It was the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Um, by the way, the uh, Nerdy Mama's mind is just going. This um, e.l.f. sponge was $6. Again, the Beauty Blender is $20. So I have no problem with that. The Poreless Putty Primer was... $8 again. The Tatcha is, I think it's either $50 or $60. So, and then the Conceal and Perfect um, Makeup Foundation. Again, look at that. That is, it's a little bit yellow for me, but I think I can make it work once I use some other things on it. This foundation was only $8.99, which is great for um, foundation. Now, the next thing I got, again, I a beauty guru said that it works really good was the elf 16 hour camo concealer now this concealer was six dollars now i looked at the one that goes with the milani conceal and perfect and it was i think it was like 7.99 so i decided to get this one and try it out now again this looks really light but you want it to be a little bit lighter than your foundation because you want it to uh brighten up your under eyes so I got, in this one, I got Fair Warm. And it's going, and if you could see Nerdy Mama's face, you would understand that I'm part albino. Uh, not really, but I'm so white. And then this is just going to blend out. And see, it's going to brighten up that really yellow foundation, which the foundation color was nude. So. I think that's going to work really, really well. And wow, is it full coverage. Now, that's just on my hand. So, and again, the um, the concealer was $6. Now, the next thing I got is a tried and true favorite, which is Cody Airspun Loose Powder. Now, this stuff has a distinct smell to it. You get a big um, uh, puff. And then this comes off, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's a pain in the neck to get off. I had this once before when I was younger and it just ripped off. That's just lovely. So I'm probably not going to be able to open this for y'all. But I got the extra coverage translucent. Nope, I'm going to get it. I got it, <laughs> but not what I thought. Okay, because I wanted to get the sifter. And Nerdy Mama is making a nerdy, nerdy mess. Oh, lordy me. So, you get this powder and you put it over. This was a bad idea because you can't do it that way. But it will set your uh, makeup. Now, it has a very strong scent. Smell that, Nerdy Papa. You smell it from here. You can smell it from here. It has that Cody Airspun. When it came out, it exploded. Okay, it did. It exploded everywhere. But see, what you're supposed to do is like that. And then it gets on your powder puff or on your brush and it is going to set your makeup so this was another recommendation by tati but i actually used this when i was younger so but it does have a very distinct smell this whole thing of uh powder here which you will never be able to use up 
okay it's five dollars and 99 cents and i got one more thing and then i'm done with this haul i got this this is called bite size eyeshadow in the color rose water now i watch another beauty guru her name is jessica braun i really like her because she is a stay-at-home mom who does youtube she has a beautiful little girl and her uh, husband does youtube too she recommended this on one of her videos just recently this was only three dollars and she did a makeup look with it that was absolutely gorgeous i don't think i'm going to be able to open it on camera but we're going to try because nerdy mama she don't give up so easily let me get my handy dandy scissors and see if i can get this open maybe maybe yes okay so you get you get a matte shadow, which is great for the base. You get two beautiful uh, glittery ones, and then you get this dark color. Now, I don't, they don't have like, the whole palette's called Rose Water. They don't have individual um, names. So let's start with this one. You got this very um, nice base color. That's a mauve shade. Then you've got this color here. Which these are very light shades, and I like that. Uh, very buildable. You can probably barely see them. Then, let's see. We got, let's try this shade. This is the darker of the uh, glitter shades. Like that. And then this shade, which I would probably never use, and I'm going to use my pinky for this one, is um, a dark, like a black shade that you could use for liner. So, there you go. I think it's very pretty. You can do, it's something that's not going to be really dramatic. Uh, I don't usually wear makeup, so the makeup that I do wear tends to be very light. Yeah. So. Your hand and wrist is ready for the Olive Garden. Yes, there you go. <laughs> I'm ready to go out. My fingers are, and and right here, I'm ready to go. Just just these places. So I hope y'all enjoyed this Target haul with a little bit of stationery, a little bit of makeup. I hit that like button if you like um, makeup or if you like stationery. Hit that subscribe button if you want to spend some more time with multicolored nerdy mama. I hope everyone is having a great day and being safe and being well. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye friends.